Hey there. I was just watching Dave Rubin interview Tommy Sotomayor, and I was reminded of what uh, Logic Bomb was saying to me, and what my response actually was, because he knew actually how to ask the right questions. Um, the All Rightist guitarist was trying to get me to see some of this too, but he just he just didn't had no idea how to do it. He didn't have no idea how to address it. But Logic Bomb has known me for a long time. I've known him in person. Um, really decent guy. Um, besides everything else that's happened, I, I've been stewing about how I responded to him, realizing how kind of tantrumy. In nature, it was, it, it was, um, and that a lot of the left is kind of acting that way, very tantrum-y. It's not the way I've heard anyone word it, but it's, it's just like they're just having a, throwing a big tantrum. And I guess I've been kind of in, I've been doing the same thing since Trump got elected. It's just, um... Am I terrified? Yes. And that's why I've been acting the way that I have. Um, but I am terrified. I am. We are seeing that Trump is, 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 is not, has not really been that great of a president. He's made some really awful decisions. And the way that this new mode of thinking is where you're not supposed to judge a mindset uh, you're supposed to judge the actions of a mindset, at least when it comes to the right. The left, you can judge the mindset all you want and associate it with everything bad that you've ever experienced in your life. Um, some double standards there. But, you know, uh, if it's something on the right, you're supposed to wait until it's done something terrible which is kind of weird, very weird to me. But then there's the issue of, you know, judging something before you understand it. We, we've been used to making fun of things before we understand them. And I usually had prided myself on not making fun of something before really understanding it. But I kinda, I've, I've kind of got caught in that, in that game. Uh... <laughs> I think it's weird that uh, Phoenix Chastain uh, uns uh, uh, blocked me because I was just asking her to, well, yeah, w w explain what you mean. What what are you what are you referring to here? Is if I'm just I'm just supposed to just catch on and everything that comes out of my mouth should be this this one narrative? Oh, I'm I guess I'm not left enough for her. I'm going, oh, all right. That got me thinking a bit too. If, if myself, who have been like preaching against the right continually, but now I'm not considered left enough because I didn't march, I didn't like just immediately go, oh, yes, you're so right. Yeah, oh, yes, these people are terrible. Oh, awful. Everyone, this, yeah. You know, that actually got me thinking more than just about any of this. Though, I can't deny uh, the things that Logic Bomb had said, but... Yeah, I, I, need, to, I, I, I need to make a change, I, and I'm realizing where I have went wrong. Now, some of the same advice that, the, <laughs> that I was giving uh, 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 the all rightist guitarist was, you know, if you're... If it's obvious that what you're saying isn't sinking in with someone, you know, uh, just just stop, or at least stop for a while. Stop. That starts to get preachy. The person isn't going to listen. You know, I wasn't listening. Now this thing that has occurred within me, uh, this realization this epiphany, so to speak, 
is not something that's going to just be this instant thing because I have to recompile all this stuff now in my head. Things got really discombobulated in my head when Trump got elected. It really fucked me up. It sincerely fucked me up. It, 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 and it's fucked up a lot of people. Because you look at it and go, how can we have someone like this as president? I mean, it, it's, it baffles the entire world. And many can say, well, because the left did this or the left has been doing that. I guess I don't know how to respond to that. I have seen that the left has become pretty bad, and I see how easy it is to get sucked into that, into the vortex of a particular ideological view. Um, because that's essentially what happened to me after Trump got elected. The preamble that Dave Rubin had on his video of the interview with uh, Tommy Sotomayor, it, it was as though it's one of those things where it's like, okay, somehow the way everything's just sort of lined up, the preamble to, to that, that interview was like it was designed for me. Hey, you need to hear this right now. No, right now, you need to hear this. That's just, it's, just things line up that way sometimes, and it's just, it's, it's one of those things that keeps me very open-minded to different types of spirituality, and I'm not meaning that there's some uh, supreme being, but, you know, just different types of spirituality. It's, it's, uh, anyway... I mean, it's just interesting how that that some of that 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 sort of thing works out. I mean, I know that we end up looking for things once we we are, we're thinking about something. We end up inadvertently looking at things, sort of like how you you suddenly you're, you're driving, you're on the freeway, and you suddenly think about white vehicles, and now you see all these white vehicles everywhere, or red vehicles. Maybe I should have chosen a different color because maybe someone will think uh, uh, when I said white that it's there's some, oh it's a microaggression for something, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, how about those black vehicles, right? Um, but Dave Rubin's message, it just seemed like it was designed for me. That is exactly what I needed to hear at that time. I'll leave a link to that video. Um, I, I don't think I don't think just taking quotes from it does it justice. I, th I think it should be just watched. I also don't know how he is about uh, uh, taking large sections of his video and having it put in other people's videos. I don't know if uh, whatever network he's working with uh, it goes after that or not. So just just check out the video, um, please. With cherries and stuff but this is going to take a lot to process it's going to take a lot to compile in my head because i mean when there are when there is a a ch major change in my it, that that goes on i have to recompile everything because this piece no longer fits with this so i have to change this one to match this and then I have to change this one to match this, and I have to change this one to match this, and it just sort of, I mean, that's a very simplistic way of putting it. It's a lot more than that, but, um, you know, you have to just recompile it so you have a, something that's at least relatively consistent. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm going through right now. I'm just trying to piece things back together after this, realizing this, element and parts of me going to doomsday mode but you know I, I I wasn't really like this until the that 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 way that I've been that I don't know whether I can't I can't definitively state that I don't have some of that left but you know before Trump got elected um, October and earlier I didn't have the didn't have quite as much of the doomsday 
sort of uh, uh, mindset, the fight or flight response. And it's taken this long to realize, well, that feeling is going to be there because there's the unknown. And I need to get used to this unknown thing, just like people having to get used to the unknown thing that, you know, who voted Trump in because he was going to be, you know, not get us into war. And, well, we're seeing differently now. Um, and some of that laugh is that you just saw was a nervous laugh and a hint of schadenfreude. So much of the stuff that, that people have tried to, to warn others about what Trump is like, people are finally starting to see, and we've got a number of people that were usually Trump supporters going, oh, wait a minute, no, this is, this is kind of fucked up. And I'm going, um, yeah, it's fucked up. Another thing that was making me realize some of this is, is along the way, and, and I, I still kind of am this, this way a little bit, is, okay, it's my reaction to all these Trump supporters for all this time have said, uh, Trump's our president, uh, suck it up, buttercup. And I've been kind of responding by saying the same thing to those who are freaking out over what's going on here on YouTube. Well, advertisers run the roost, suck it up, buttercup. You know, it's mean-spirited, it's nasty, but I do feel it, and I especially have the desire to say it to those who have been saying suck it up buttercup to those who have been disappointed in Trump's election. And it seems the more I don't talk about the parts, the, th the issues with Trump, the things I don't like about Trump, the things that I worry about with Trump, the more messed up I kind of start to get. Because it's like holding back an emotion. Backs? It's like holding back an emotion. Um, and just bottling it up and then it eventually explodes in a way that's completely uncontrolled. And I am finding the same thing when I don't discuss uh, some of the things that worry me about what's going on in the government. And most of that revolves around Trump being president and his cabinet members and you know, the, uh, and also the way that I'm watching society change. Um, what I had become is part of that same way that society is changing. And I think Dave Rubin presents a way of, uh, his methodology as far as, you know, whether you hate it or not, you have to give other viewpoints a chance because within almost any viewpoint, there is a glimmer of truth. Even with some of the most ridiculous viewpoints, there is at least a glimmer of truth into, in that. If we were to actually get to, the, to the, the whole picture of what the truth is, we have to go digging through some shit. So if I am to make declarations about positions, I needed to go digging through the shit in order to uh, uh, state my objections. Now, I think this sort of realization would be good for people on, on all sides. I don't see people wanting to consider the progressive left's viewpoints because some of the ways that it's worded is perceived as toxic, or and in some cases, what some people say is toxic, but you've got any... any Anyone can state things that are toxic. All sides need to realize that if you want people to consider your views, then you need to consider theirs. And lately, I just have, I haven't been very, I certainly haven't been very good at that lately. And my biggest concern still is the Trump administration. I, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. I need to find some way to use this feeling constructively, and I just haven't figured it out yet. How do you use a feeling of fear constructively? What do you, what do, you do? 
Because most other things, I, 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 you can find a way. I mean, there's a way to use uh, anxiety constructively because you're able to... Okay, well, you already feel anxious, so... You know, why not use that to do something that you're you that most people would be way too anxious in general to do? I mean, since I'm already I already have this feeling, and it's already about as strong as it's gonna get. So let's use this to do something. You know that it takes some balls to be able to do using panic as, to an advantage. This. This kind of fear that I have, I have just, I can't figure out something to do that makes it, that, that I can somehow turn it into a positive. I, I can't, I can't think of anything. And so it's rough. It's really rough. And it's gotten worse since, uh, significantly since Trump has, uh, waged war in Syria, you know, because now, I mean, we can't even count on his promises, and, and over the past month, we've seen things that show that he, we can't count on his promises, oh yes, hold up, hold up that rainbow flag, uh, nice symbology there, right, anything to get elected, right, so now we're seeing him do completely the opposite of the things that he campaigned under, so now we have absolutely no idea what to expect out of this presidency no idea whatsoever it's russian roulette and it's a stingingly ironic name for the phenomenon as far as attributing it to the trump administration you know russian roulette as far as people being worried that that Google is going to just start on this mass censorship thing, and I mean actual censorship, not where they're just demonetizing, but they're just like taking down videos left and right. Um, to those that are worried that Google is going to do something like that, even though they are doing it a substantial amount less than they used to, you know, I'm going to give you the same advice that you're some of you are giving to those who are worried about Trump, right? You generally give the advice, well, you know, wait until something really bad happens before having any sort of showing any sort of concern. You know, if all this really is 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 over the uh, the ad revenue, then uh, that's a weird thing to to get that freaked out over and declare the end of free speech over. But you know, if if Google starts to actually. Uh, just take down videos, uh, even take down a bunch of channels because, well, this this content uh, violates their code of conduct. That your it it violates their uh, community guidelines. Then that's a time to, to to be concerned. Just like right now, we we should definitely be concerned over what Trump just did in Syria. Man, that's so messed up. I mean. Why would Assad do that, be the one to carry out that attack at that time? Makes no fucking sense. This whole thing, it, it screams the same type of uh, bullshit that was used to peddle the war in Iraq in 2003. You know, what's, what's going to be uh, Trump's uh, equivalent of George Bush's uh, s standing in front of a banner that says mission accomplished? <laughs> Did you forget about that? It, it's odd to me how people forget things that happened really not that long ago. Seem to forget that. And then if there's a narrative that things were really different, and the narrative goes around enough, oh, well, now it was really different than that. Sort of like Dave Cullen of Computing Forever, uh, making it sound like, uh, you know, Google has become draconian, about all of this in, in recent years, and that they used to be so open and so... Yeah, bullshit. It's the other way around, dude. You're just upset that you're losing, you're losing your ad revenue, and that others are losing their ad revenue, and you're de making it sound like, oh, well, they're, they're stopping me from speaking. Well, if... What stops people from speaking is when there are more negative consequences to saying it than positive. If for you... 
it's not worth saying unless you have the positive part of making money from it, I'm fine. But most people who are making a lot of money on this platform know that they they can start pushing other routes because they already have that many subscribers. They can get a number of people to to like donate to Patreon. Um, I've been uh, <laughs> the smallest donation I can, but I've been I've been uh, donating to a number of of channels uh, recently. Um, you know, because I'm seeing that well, the, they're not going to be able to make money from those things, so I'll donate in some other way. Yeah, people like Dave Cullen are, are making it sound like used to be some platform where just all, all this, so much more free speech. Yeah, none of these platforms are going to have the kind of ad revenue sharing stuff that, that uh, YouTube has. And if, they do, and if any of them eventually do, they're going to have be put under the same standards that YouTube is, and you're going to deal with exactly the same issue. If you're going to get money via ad revenue, then you have to play by the ad those the, the the rules of those that are giving you the money. You're doing a job for them. That's how that works. And if it happens to to get a lot of views and it makes that company some money, hey cool. And that's that's why programming on TV is that same way. It's all about finding a way to to make the things that are advertised during that commercial slot look good you know the you're you're working for them as much as you're working for whatever company it is that whatever part of one of the the big six it it happens to fall under and so if you want money from ads you've got to play their games if you want money some other way then you've got to play whatever games are necessary to do that you know, if you want money, you need to do what's necessary to get that money. But again, if you're worried about Google suddenly going on this this rampage of deleting uh, videos and removing channels because they have objectionable content um, when it shouldn't be violating any of their their community guidelines, but they decide suddenly that they are. Yeah, if you're worried about that happening. Uh, just take the same advice uh, many of you give to uh, those who are worried about Trump. Oh, wait. And like I said, oh, wait. Uh, now we're seeing what's wrong with Trump. So, and yeah, that does give, give me a little bit of a smile. Because I'd like most people to be concerned about Trump. I wish most people would be concerned about Trump. I think we need to be.